Welcome back to Small Aid. This is something I found on my way to work. It was lying on the side of the road, easy to pick it up safely. And so I did, and I thought what I could make of it. And the simplest idea I had, and it was the most appealing one too, was to make a hammer out of it. I thought of making my own handle. And this is some uh, copper for a soft face and a hard face. So let's get started and see what we can make out of this. Now, get that released. Don't know about you, but uh, <laughs> I think we have a lovely hammerhead here. <laughs> what do you think? Right. Its counterpart is going to be lighter. Uh, I wanted uh, something bigger, obviously, but... Uh, that's what I got, so that's what we're going to use. That's 18 millimeter copper. Now I've heard that copper is not easy to turn, definitely not easy to drill, and is a bit hard on drill bits. So let's hope it won't be too problematic.
Not sure this is concentric. That's the problem. I have a solution to this problem. I'll be back with you guys in a minute. So this has been cleaned. And so has this. This is one of my locking pins. But I have an extra one. And the idea is very simple. I want to glue this in there using some Loctite which we have here Ooh. <laughs> good thing I didn't uh, overdo things right okay so and we'll just uh, keep it there and just clean this up I didn't plan on wasting so much glue, but hey, that's life. Now, once this locks into its position, <laughs> I'm saying once this locks, it's already locked. We can turn this on the lathe, and it's locked. So let's go. And the way to release it is just immerse it overnight in acetone or heat up the copper right so oh like so want some walking distance yeah. this is running fairly true I think we can continue. I think our hammer is nearly ready.
like you have landed. The growth of the thousands of passionate individuals who talk to this great space-faring nation. Okay, just have to sand the handle and I'll do that using my hand drill and we're done. Drill a hole and we're ready. So let me get everything cleaned up here and I'm uh, going to have to make some dinner for the kids. So this project is going along pretty nicely. Okay, let's change the scenery guys. I'm going to take this cute little handle, very very rough, but it's going to be easily sorted out. And I mark the center, it's eyeballing, nothing really crucial. And what I want to do is very simple, I'm going to drill it, starting with a 5mm drill bit. And if I have to, sorry about the background noise. Omitting any bias. Mm, roughly. That should do it. I'll be using this tool. This is basically a screw that I cut both ends off. The biggest screw I could find. 
and I'm going to attach it by screwing it into my screwdriver here. And that's it. A bit off center, but uh, for sanding that should be just fine. I'm going to hand sand it just like that while it's running. Okay, got it more centered. That's really smooth and I really like it. And since we're going to take off this part, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to leave a nice knob at the end. It's going to be good enough. Now I need to drill a hole and cover this with some sort of protective wax. I'll drill the hole offhand, just hand drilling it three millimeters and followed by five and eight millimeters which are going to be the final diameter so let me get started i won't show you that it's going to be off camera welcome back i put this uh piece of the hammer and some acetone to remove it and as you can see the acetone has dissolved by partially some of the copper so I, now i need to clean it up again what I'll do is I'll wrap it up with aluminum foil so the aluminum will absorb the impact and the marring of the chuck and we can continue. Uh, that was, I uh, should say that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. There we go. Back to nice and shiny. Okay, so we're done. Off camera, I did flatten the sides and I did center the hole also. Now, once I flattened it, I realized that I had a small problem. The sizes don't match because this is supposed to sit flush and then this is not going to reach that deep. It reaches only this way. So, we'll just put it this way. We're having about half a centimeter of extra space let's call it I did want to turn this I could cut it down and turn it down and turn this or, or something like that but I didn't want to play more with the setup because I didn't want to mar the surfaces or risk marring the surfaces I do know this shaft is not perfectly in center because it has been <laughs> driven on by trucks and all that so I, I decided to do something else I had this washer I made some time ago. It wasn't exactly a washer, I just had to finish it. And it's a nice brass washer. It will give it a nice spacing and it also gives us a nice color. I think it's a nice addition. So let's get started. All we have to do is some epoxy work. Let's get a dab of epoxy and we'll do it step by step. Now, I would... Oh, this is really tough. Ah, come on. I would normally do a mock installing, sort of a mock assembly, but uh, <laughs> I already did that off camera and it took me more than 10 minutes to release everything because the tolerances here are really, really tight. So let's get started. Put some epoxy here. 
Let me do that. Lock it. And this is a five minute epoxy, so I better hurry. Right. So I'll uh, slabber some of that here. And this is going to be the metal face, the steel face. Uh, everything is better. Metal, correct? So, <laughs> what else I need to do is want to do some here on the shaft. I'll put plenty. Right. I also put some inside. fix it it's not that easy ah there we go sitting flush now what I want to do is fill the void we have a tiny bit of void here and we'll put some extra epoxy in all the shaft here. There we go. Which actually I shouldn't, you know what? I'll just wipe that off. do is I'll put some extra epoxy over here and we'll put the epoxy on this side. For epoxy there and the metal of course as well. And we'll just mount it. Nice. Last but not least we'll fill up. layer there clean our fingers and push now we need to get rid of the excess and the reason it doesn't stick to the handle except for the exposed surfaces over here is because I already waxed the handle that's nice let's get rid of that and clean our hammer and now we have a three metal hammer <laughs> okay let me get rid of that There we go. We have a brand new hammer in the shop. <laughs> we still have a bit of epoxy on this surface. Let me get rid of that. That's alcohol. That'll do a nice, not perfect, but nice job cleaning it up. I'd say I'm satisfied. For my very own first handle turned, not perfect, but nice enough. I'm pretty pleased. And some scrap metal. <laughs> Basically, this is for free. And these I had in the shop, so we didn't have to spend money and get those. Same goes for the wood. I'd say that's a nice work. <laughs> and I'm really, really pleased. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon.